Yep. Radical Rides here. Got myself a nice little Scorpion Bedliner kit. Let's see what comes in their standard kit. Never play with knives. I ordered this for the F-150. I am excited. All right, it's already looking cool. Nice and colorful for use with Al's liner and Scorpion products. Heavy duty. Let's see what we have here. What's in the box? Go with the little box first. Hey, we have our big hopper. All right, this is what our product is going to go in. So fancy, isn't it? Oh, what's in the rest of the box? A nice paint gun. All right, so in our little box here, Ooh. instructions, I don't care. So we have our gun. We have our hopper that's going to go on our gun like so. It's already a fail. It's already a fail. we got to go back. <laughs> now, anyways, we're going to put it on there like so. And then that's what we're going to use to shoot the, the material out with. Clearly, we got some tips and a band so this doesn't fall off. So... That's their ba that's uh, their basic gun. We have to play with that one here in just a little while after we get the truck all prepped out. Sorry for the mess of the rest of the shop. Oh, blue metallic flake. Let's check this out. Let's see how how blue the metallic is. Oh man, that is very pretty. I would say that is a super nice blue. How about you, Jeff? Jeff, yeah. I think it's great. That's going to look really, really nice being uh, put on the truck here. And this is actually the same kind of blue flake that I want to do on the truck, on the uh, Bronco. I, I want to do it on the underside, on the frame, where it's black and blue and, and stuff like that. So that's cool. An extra. Ooh, what do we have here? <gasps> oh, I absolutely love free T-shirts. Scorpion, scorpion coatings. I will definitely rock this for sure. Hey, let's see what kind of size we got here. Uh, large. Oh, he looks more like a medium. Uh, I can probably do a medium, but I'm super stoked. It's even my color. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I'm excited. All right. Lysithin mold release. All right, so with this lysithin, how this works is you take your hopper, you spray this in it, inside of it, before you add your material in it, and you actually spray it inside the gun itself. You pull this whole assembly apart, you pull the needle and seat and everything apart, you spray in here, you'll spray inside, and you'll spray in the hopper. That way, when you're all done, you just tip this whole, set, whole thing upside down, It'll eventually harden up, mold out the bed liner material. And then the LMR is supposed to keep it as a release agent where you can just pick the stuff out and it doesn't actually stick to the gun. Uh, I was also told that you could actually use the LMR uh, on other areas so you don't get like some maybe overspray or something. Uh, I don't know how far because I, I haven't tested it yet, how far you can really use that stuff. And... To be honest, I'm still going to mask the truck off. I'm going to tape it up, make sure it's still not getting oversprayed on. So, so that's what that stuff's for. So, LMR, your release agent. All right, mixing spoon. We're, we're going to need that because that goes on the trusty drill. Mix up the product, make sure it's all stirred out. Again, the blue flake. What do we got here? Abrasive nylon filament cut brush. So, to make sure the, the surface is prepped, they give you this. 
which is basically some, uh, uh, like it says, nylon abrasive. These little fingers, instead of a regular wire wheel, basically just scuffs this up without uh, tearing it all up with uh, and uh, completely taking the full paint off because you don't want to strip it down to a bare metal. That's not what you're looking for. You just like an 80 grit plus. That way, it, you know, the material actually adheres to. Cut brush. All right. All right. So this is. This is their two gallon kit. In their two gallon kit, they got components A, B, C, and this is your regular black toner that actually goes in the paint, and that's what gives you your black bed liner itself. And then you have your little super, super tiny, <laughs> fun size adhesion promoter. And this basically sprays down um, after you get done prepping everything. This sprays down. That way you get a nice, hard, tight bond with your material here to the actual truck itself. Or metal or whatever else that you're spraying on. But, must have. Very must have. Cute little thing. <laughs> so, that is what we have. Oh, and also, more instructions that are at the very very bottom of here man this stuff is super cold wow i i don't know what uh temperature you can spray this stuff at but i know this i'll definitely have to get this thing warmed up before i uh go to attempt it right now so this basically is like what makes up your rubberness of your bed liner so like when you feel the rubbering this is what your bed liner is it's nice and clear so when you add your black in, then it becomes basically uh, hardened in black. Um, then you have your uh, B component, which is, uh, what is this? Your activator. All right. So you have your activator and your catalyst. So this is what makes it hard, this little gallon of what looks like to be milk. Don't drink. Uh, and then your activator, which basically lets it, you know, obviously activates it kind of self-explanatory so yeah that's what comes in a bed liner kit and uh oh two things of black one per gallon so you got as you can see two gallon setup and that's what will fill fill the truck and that's what's gonna end up mixing up so because we have the blue flake what's gonna happen is i'm gonna actually take out a, a portion of each component I'm going to do like 10 ounces of the A, 4 and 4 of the B and C, and then I'll keep that to the side that way when I actually go to do the metal flake itself, I'll actually uh, leave that stuff out and I'll keep the black out of it because I don't want the color itself. I'll put the blue flake in and I'll basically just dust over and do an overspray basically across the bed liner and that's what's going to give me the metallic look and that's what's going to adhere in and uh they'll look nice so looking forward to that i look forward to rocking my t-shirt thank you Corey, and uh i can't wait to get this thing rolling <laughs>